Hey guys, uh, Redstone Without Limits here again. Now I just woke up, so uh, try to stay focused because I don't know. But I'm gonna set it to day. There we go. Having a little bit of trouble there, but yeah, I just woke up, so I don't expect much. <laughs> So today I want to take some time to explain CPU architecture. We're going to make a very basic CPU architecture. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, first of all, uh, lapis blocks are going to be represented as switches, so turning things on and off, basically like a, a AND gate. That's kind of the idea. Okay. Um, white wool is going to represent the ALU. Okay. Also, um, before I forget to mention, stone is going to be the wires or the busing. Okay. Um, and yellow wool is going to be registers and orange wool no black wool is going to be the accumulator so we got a little color scheme going on right now also one thing I'm going to use redstone um, repeaters to actually show the signal so probably the first thing that we want is I.O. So we're going to have I.O. here. So there's going to be a switch here and here. And these are going to say if we want it to load or take out of this accumulator that we're about to build. So it's going to be a little black box like that. Okay, so um, this is where you would uh, take or you take in and put in information. Now we got to take that value and we're going to make the ALU. I'm going to try to make this how I'm wanting to see it. I'm going to just make it like this. Like so. So we're going to have two inputs. Um, also, before I forget to mention, we're going to have an inverter circuit. So that's going to be in between the accumulator and that. But we also need a register. So I'm going to put that uh, I'm going to put the register here, right in between, and we're going to put switches right here. So first we load it to the register, and then we can load it to the um, ALU using the switches. And these switches will make sense um, later on. Yeah, we're going to have the flow of current going that way. And then we're going to have um, the B input, because there's two inputs on an, an ALU. So we're going to have this, like so. Flow of current still going this way. And then on the outside of the ALU, um, we need something to store the value that it outputs. So we're going to do this. Basically, um, any value that is that comes out of the ALU or autom will automatically go to the register, like so. And then we can also we're gonna be able to take that value out of the register. All right. Um, hope I still have your attention. <laughs> so, yeah. And then we're gonna be able to take this value out of the register. 
and back into the accumulator. And we can basically just put this wire anywhere on the accumulator and it'll work. So, that goes right there. Now if we wanted to load that to the accumulator, then we just um, enable that. But what we can do is just have it go directly into it. And let me label the flow of current. So like that. Okay. So we also want to be able to have some excess registers that aren't um, within like the ALU or anything. So we want to be able to have um, registers we, where we can just store values uh, long term or um, longer term, I should say. So these are going to be the little, um, little blocks. So we're going to have some uh, inputs here. And we're going to have um, outputs here. And these are all going to go into the accumulator and also out of the accumulator to go in. that and then um, we're gonna have a switch on this and on this so it just tells us if we can load it or not so um, now what we need to do is we need to have switches on these so we can load whenever we need to not just randomly So these are going to go here. And the flow of current is still going this way. Like that. See? So this is a basic CPU architecture. If you wanted to go a little bit more uh, crazy than you could but that is all I have time for today so I will see you in the next video um, if you like it then go ahead and like it if you want to see more I do videos every day on this channel so go ahead and subscribe and I will see you later